Hello, my friends. My name is Gerardo Reyes Guzman, and today we are going to work with the Bayesian calculator. We are going to reinterpret the problem that we find as an example in the web page of the Bayesian calculator. And it says, <clears throat> suppose that 5% uh, of uh, people of your age and heredity have cancer. Suppose that a blood test has been developed that correctly gives a positive test result in 80% of people with cancer and it gives a false positive in 20% of the cases of people without cancer. Suppose you take the test and it is positive, what is the probability that you actually have cancer given the positive test result? H equals the hypothesis. In this case, H is the hypothesis that you have cancer and H prima is the hypothesis that you don't. D is datum. In this case, D is the positive test result P of H is the prior probability that you have cancer, which was given in the problem as 0.05. P of T given H is the probability of a positive test result given that you have cancer, this is also called the heat rate, and was given in the problem as a 0.8. P of T given H prima is the probability of a positive test result given that you don't have cancer, this is also called the false alarm rate and was given as 0.20. Now, we will reinterpret this problem and uh, um, we will use a contingency table. In the columns, we have the positive test result given as D and the negative diagnosis of the test, which is D prima. In the rows, we have H representing you have cancer, and no cancer is H prima. Now, as you see, the uh, prior probability equals the marginal probability, and this is 0 0.05. Now we get to the next tenet, and we have that the probability of t given h equals the joint probability. The joint probability is needed in our contingency table and is not given in the problem, but we, think we can calculate it by doing some math. And this is equal to 0 0.4. We write it in our contingency table and by subtracting the 0 0.05 minus the 0 0.04, we get the 0 0.01. Now we get we get to the next tenet, which says the probability of d given h prima equals the joint probability of d and h prima divided by the probability of h prima. By doing the math, we get the 19. Now, with the numbers we have in our contingency table, we can complete the contingency table. And once we have all the numbers, we can calculate the rest of probabilities, beginning with the probability of t given h equals 0 0.8, the probability of t given h prima is 0 0.2, the probability of d prima given h is 0 0.2. The probability of d prima given h prima is 0 0.8. Now we go the other way around and we say the probability of h given d is 0 0.174. The probability of h given d prima is 0 0.2. The probability of h prima given d is 0 0.826 and the probability of h prima given d prima is 0 0.987. Now we come back to the question of the problem and it says, suppose that you take the test and it is positive, what is the probability that you actually have cancer given the positive test result? Now it looks like we have found the answer. The answer is enlightened in green. The probability of H given D is 0 0.174. Now, uh, with, when we take together all calculations, 
we are in the position to work with the Bayesian calculator. And we go to the page of the Bayesian calculator. And the first uh, thing that we are asked for is P of H. Now, P of H is 0 0.05. This is uh, given in the matrix. And we work with it. And this is 0 0.05. The next one is the uh, probability of t given h. The probability of t given h is 0 0.8. 0 0.8. The probability of t given h prima, the probability of t given h prima is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 and we compute what we get is the probability of h given d which is something that we have already calculated the probability of h given d is 1 is 0 0.174 that means by using the matrix we are in the position to understand how the Bayesian calculator works. Now, if uh, you think this video helped you, give me a like, then I will be glad to teach you more about Bayesian calculator by the next video. Thank you.